Ranking tasks are designed to help you organize a solution. The purpose of this video is to show you how we're going to grade these ranking problems by leading you through an example. Let's have a look at this question. Here we've got snapshots of cars before and after. They show you the initial and final velocity of the car and the idea is to rank them according to acceleration from the most positive to the most negative. It states in the question that all cars have the same mass and they travel for the same amount of time while their velocity changes. They also state that negative numbers rank lower than positive ones. So the more negative it is, the smaller it will be in terms of our ranking. So how do we proceed? The first thing you want to do is define the problem. This question is asking you to rank them in terms of acceleration. So let's define acceleration first. Since we're given scenarios involving velocities, we want to define acceleration in terms of velocity. So according to our kinematics equations, acceleration is defined as our change in velocity divided by time. This step will alone will give you one point. You've identified the problem. Next, what you want to do is read the question carefully to determine any constraints or conditions on the problem. For this question, we have two main constraints. The carts have the same mass and they travel for the same time while the velocity is changing. They also state that negative numbers rank lower than positive ones and they give you an example in the bracketed region here. So let's define our constraints. So we've identified our constraints. Now we should be in a position to simplify our question. So really, if the time is the same for every picture and mass doesn't seem to matter in our definition at all, really what we're looking for is comparing acceleration to change in velocity only. So let's simplify our condition. So we've identified our simplified condition, which is acceleration is proportional to change in velocity. This little symbol right here means is proportional to or related to change in velocity. So in other words, it's not necessarily an equation, but we need to identify the biggest change in velocity because that will give us the biggest acceleration since all the times are the same. So this will also score us a point. Now the last step is your solution. Let's start by defining change in velocity and then see if we can divide up our carts into various categories, positive, negative, and zero. So we can see our questions come down to determining the value of the change in velocity. Change in velocity is defined as V final minus V initial. And you just have to remember that velocity is a vector, so we've got to watch our signs. So provided V final is greater than V initial, we'll get a positive change in velocity. If V final is less than V initial, we'll get a negative. And if V final equals V initial, we'll get zero. So let's organize these three categories and then we can determine our ranking. It's important that you include this step because it shows that you really understand the question and you're actually fleshing out the physics. So I've got three comments here. One, if V final is greater than V initial, then A is going to be positive, and I've determined that that's situations A and E. So you can see here A has a V final that's positive 20 and a V initial that's 10. So that's V final is greater than V initial, and same with E. Similarly for B, if V final is less than V initial, then my acceleration will be negative, and I've identified that consists of situations B, C, F, G, and H. And finally, for C, if V final equals V initial, then my acceleration is zero, which is only picture D. Categorizing your solution in this fashion will also garnish you another point. For the last point, all you need to do is show one sample calculation, pick one that's reasonably challenging, and then rank your question accordingly. So you can see on the lower left, my step four, my sample calculation, I've chosen image G. So to find my change in velocity, which is ultimately all I care about, V final minus V initial, my final velocity is negative 20. My initial velocity was negative 10. And when I do the math, my change in velocity is negative 10 meters per second. So you can see that I've ranked them from the most positive to the most negative, And I've also circled the ones that are tied. So A and E are the same. They're the most positive, but they give it the same answer as our B, F, and G. This will give you the final points for a total of four and your assignment, your ranking assignment is complete. 